most talented athlete I've ever worked with. Um, and so we just knew if she could get her mental game as well as her physical game, then she would be um, close to unstoppable. Did you hear about Simone Biles at the latest gymnastics competition? She didn't just win, she annihilated the competition, scoring nearly two points ahead of everyone else. Her comeback after the Tokyo Olympics has been nothing short of legendary. Can you believe how she's changing the game and setting new standards for gymnastics? You know, after the Tokyo Olympics in 2021, everyone thought that might be the last we'd see of Simone on the biggest stage of international gymnastics. But nope, she's back, and she's looking stronger and more determined than ever. Since Tokyo, Simone has been on quite a ride. After the whole twisties incident in Tokyo, where she lost her sense of space mid-air and had to withdraw from most of her events, she took some well-deserved time off. She focused on her mental health, which was such an important move. I mean, can you imagine the pressure? But she didn't just sit back and relax. Simone was quietly gearing up for a comeback, attending therapy sessions regularly and training behind the scenes. Fast forward to 2024, and she's making headlines again. Simone absolutely crushed it at the 2024 Core Hydration Classic, winning by nearly two points. She didn't stop there. She went on to sweep the US Gymnastics Championships. It's like she never left. But before she can secure her spot on Team USA for Paris, she has to go through the qualifying process, which, let me tell you, is no walk in the park. So how does this whole qualifying thing work? It's a bit different this time around compared to previous years. First, gymnasts have to qualify for the US Gymnastics Championships, which ran from May 30th to June 2nd. There are several ways to get there. Some gymnasts qualify by being part of the 2023 World Championships team, while others need to score at least 51.00 in certain events, like the Winter Cup, the Classic Meet, or the National Team Training Camps. Once they make it to the U.S. Championships, they can be selected for the U.S. Olympic Trials. This year, the top two senior all-around athletes from the U.S. Championships automatically move on to the trials. Additionally, at least 10 more gymnasts from the competition, plus any petitioned athletes, get invited. The selection committee can add more if they feel it's necessary. The trials themselves are intense, spanning two days with the highest all-around score automatically securing a spot on the Olympic team. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. The selection process for Team USA has also seen some changes. Unlike before, where the team had six spots, four team members and two individuals, now there are only five spots available. This means the selection committee has an even tougher job, needing to ensure they pick the best gymnasts who can excel in all four events floor, vault, uneven bars, and beam. The committee looks at various factors, including the results from competitions over the past year, difficulty scores, execution scores, consistency, and overall readiness. They want to build a team that's not just strong individually, but also unbeatable as a unit. The goal is to bring home as many medals as possible, both in team events and individual categories. Which brings us to Simone Biles' mind-blowing performance at the 2024 Core Hydration Classic. If you thought she'd be rusty after a break, think again. She absolutely dominated this event, showing everyone she's still the queen of gymnastics. I mean, she won by nearly two points. That's huge in gymnastics terms. At the Core Hydration Classic, Biles looked like she was on another level. Her routines were packed with difficulty and executed with such precision. On the floor, she dazzled with her signature moves, combining incredible flips and twists with flawless landings. The energy in the arena was electric every time she performed. It's like everyone was holding their breath, waiting to see what she'd pull off next. Triple series, no problem. We talk about rhythm on bars, rhythm on beat. Her vault routines were just as spectacular, 
Simone has this way of making the most challenging vaults look effortless. She stuck her landings with such confidence that you couldn't help but cheer. And then, on the beam, she was rock solid. Remember, this is the apparatus that gave her trouble in Tokyo. But here, she was steady and composed, hitting every element perfectly. The uneven bars were no different. Simone showed incredible strength and agility, flying between the bars with such grace and power. Each routine she performed was a statement. She's back, and she's better than ever. This nearly two-point victory wasn't just a win. It was a declaration that Simone Biles is ready to take on the world again. Her performance at the Core Hydration Classic set the stage for her Olympic campaign by proving she hasn't lost her edge and is ready to dominate the competition. After her stellar performance at the Core Hydration Classic, Simone Biles went on to sweep the U.S. Gymnastics Championships, and it was nothing short of spectacular. This event was crucial because it not only reinforced her status as the best, but also showcased her readiness for the Olympics. Simone's routines across all four events, floor, vault, beam, and uneven bars, were a masterclass in gymnastics. On the floor, she was untouchable. Her routine was filled with difficult tumbling passes that she executed with such ease and precision. The crowd was on their feet, and the judges couldn't help but award her high scores. She had this unique combination of power and elegance that made her floor routine mesmerizing. The vault was another highlight. Simone performed some of the most difficult vaults in the sport and landed them perfectly. Her Yurchenko double pike was a showstopper, leaving everyone in awe. The beam, which had been a challenge for her in Tokyo, was where she shined this time. She performed with confidence and grace, sticking every element and making it clear that she had conquered any lingering doubts. On the uneven bars, Simone showcased her incredible strength and coordination. Her transitions between the bars were seamless, and her dismount was flawless. Each routine was a reminder of why she's the best in the world. Her consistency across all events was remarkable. She didn't just perform well, she dominated every single routine. The impact of her routines on the judges and the audience was profound. The scores reflected her dominance, but more importantly, her performances sent a clear message to her competitors. Simone Biles is back and ready to reclaim her place at the top. Her sweeping victories at the U.S. Gymnastics Championships weren't just wins. They were a statement that she's in peak form and ready to take on the world at the Paris Olympics. After Tokyo, where she famously pulled out of most events due to the twisties, Simone took a much-needed break. This was a pivotal moment for her, as she openly discussed her struggles with mental health. It was so refreshing to see someone at her level being so candid about the pressures and challenges she faced. Simone didn't just disappear, she took time to heal, both mentally and physically, showing the world that even the greatest athletes need to take care of themselves. If you're good about yourself and you, you feel you're under control, then it's where you can shine. She start to smile again in the routine. Before, she could not do it because she was thinking about what she was doing, the endurance and everything now. Simone's coach, Laurent Landy, has been a big part of her comeback. He's been very supportive and understanding of her needs. In an interview, he mentioned how they focused on rebuilding her confidence and trusting her training. Her mental is still, it's never going to be healed completely, so this is why she really needs to calm herself down, Landy said. It's clear that their approach wasn't just about physical training, but also about creating a supportive environment where Simone could thrive. One of the most touching moments was when Simone herself spoke about her journey. She admitted that the pressure she felt in Tokyo was immense and that she didn't want to let anyone down, but she also realized the importance of her own well-being. I'm so upset about Beam, I'm really disappointed in myself because that's not how I train, she said after a shaky performance. Yet, she didn't let that define her. Instead, she used it as motivation to push herself even harder. Her mental resilience has been key to her recent successes. By acknowledging her struggles and working through them, Simone has shown an incredible amount of strength. Her performances since Tokyo, especially at the Core Hydration Classic and the U.S. Gymnastics Championships, are a testament to her determination and mental fortitude. She's not just back, 
She's back stronger, both mentally and physically, ready to take on any challenge that comes her way. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.